What's good ladies and gents, welcome to the MKO Pugilism Boxing Channel where we talk all things boxing. Remember to like, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell notification to be notified when we drop our newest content and um, of course uh, leave your thoughts below, leave your comments below about the content, about the um, topics that we discuss in this video. Um, yeah, we have a conversation about that. So today going to speak to you about Saul Canelo Alvarez versus uh, Liam Mundo Smith. Um, this bout is going to be taking place tomorrow, uh, tomorrow evening for the USA, Sunday morning for us in the uh, UK over here. So um, yeah, it's going to be another late one. And um, yeah, we're, we're just literally a day away now, you know, I guess just over 24 hours away probably from this fight and um it is indeed a big one it's a big one for um canelo um you know trying to win again more um belts for him he's been up to light heavyweight take taken kovalev out um he's now down back at super middleweight which i think super middleweight for canelo um as far as weights go he's always been a big guy he's always been a heavy thick set guy so i think this super middleweight um yeah it, this this is where he could you know sort of call it home and um this is a weight division that i think really suits canelo because um there are bigger guys out there but he he just seems so comfortable and um at, at the weight that it's just like you know cool this this seems to be a weight where he kind of belongs um yeah so going into this fight um obviously canelo is going to be the big favorite um canelo has several uh, marquee names on his resume um you know miguel cotto uh, floyd mayweather jr we've just named sergey kovalev you know danny jacobs uh gennady golovkin triple g twice a win and a draw although those are kind of disputed but you know that's another big name you know is for erislandi lara and 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 he's just fought a list of the who's who um i think he even fought shane mosley a few years you know several years back when mosley was um towards the end of his career um and you know canelo's resume is, is literally kind of a who's who of um you know past and present good boxers you know quality quality guys are hall of famers in in some cases uh, especially in a case of guys like Cotto and guys like of course uh money mayweather retired undefeated and that so um resume wise uh you know canelo's definitely got the deeper sort of superior resume um for callum smith he is a world champion he's he's got a few world titles He's got the um, ring belt at um, Super Middle as well. So, it, you know, Smith has, has definitely, um, he's got a few belts under his, on his resume. Um, as far as marquee names, there is really no comparison. I mean, <clears throat> in terms of who um, Callum Smith has fought, um, it's got to be, I'd say George Groves is, is the top name on his resume. Um, George Groves himself, um, a former world champion he was a world champion at the time um you know he he was another decent fighter from from here in england um groves had um sort of he had four attempts i think it was at a world title and on the fourth attempt he he won the world title he you know came up short against carl froch a couple of times and um yeah he he at the, the fourth time of asking i think it was um he goes on and he fights uh chudinov tough russian guy and uh you know beat beats him by knockout and finally becomes world champ um when callum smith caught him um i'd say well history shows it was sort of towards the end of his career um so that you know of course that that made a difference but at the same time um you know it was a super middleweight tournament you know there were some of the better guys from the division in there uh someone like canelo wouldn't jump in there wouldn't need to he's got the money in the world but yeah you had eubank jr in there who's a decent sort of contender 
and um, you know Yildirim and there's a few other fighters in there um, but yeah it was it was one of those where that's that's where he, he won his you know that's the one where Callum Smith won and became the number one at um, super middle um, I suppose the only other guy one guy could have maybe fought but I guess politics getting away is um, David Benavidez another good super middleweight but um, yeah so for, for Smith you're talking about um, George Groves as really the best uh, name on his resume and um, that definitely doesn't stack up to um, the resume of a Canelo Alvarez Canelo Alvarez's resume is, is just far you know just vastly superior um, so on that score you've got to definitely go with Canelo in terms of experience you know, over 50 fights, he turned pro when he was about 17 or something crazy, you know, and he's had all these learning fights. And now he's just he's just a supreme, um, supreme level boxer. So in terms of, um, you know, tactically what each man um, should do, I think um, in terms of Canelo, you know, I would say he's got to sort of, you know, do kind of what, what he does all the time, you know, you know, push the push the pace. You know, keep sort of Callum Smith on on the back foot, and just sort of chop Smith down round by round. Um, you know, of course, uses his tremendous uh, body attack, those devastating hooks um, to the body, which he ironically done to um, uh, Smith's brother um, Liam Smith. You know, the, he he ripped him apart with uh, he stopped him, I think, with a body shot and. I think for Canelo, he's got to be sort of employing those tactics, use his smart counter punching on the front foot and just, you know, break Smith down, if, you know, gradually, bit by bit, round by round. Um, you know, pick his shots carefully as he always does. You know, that that's that's definitely something that he should do. Pick his shots carefully, but I'd say he's, he's got to keep um, Callum Smith under pressure, you know, make him uncomfortable, make it rough in there for for Smith and just pressurize him really really pressure him and just keep pushing him back working away at the body bringing him up bringing the shots up to the head you know making sure he's using a solid jab um, on the way in you know using that head movement side to side keeping his his um, his uh, his head off the line and I'd also say you know for Canelo's in his case he should um, try and take the jab of of um, Callum Smith away so try and make it so every time Smith tries to use a jab, he pays with a right hand or something like that, or he pays with a with a with a left hook, you know, or beat him to the punch, beat him to the jab, something of that nature, I think. And um, yeah, Canelo, it, it, you know, this is kind of standard fare for him, and I I would expect, you know, that's what he do, just sort of chop him down round by round. Um, and in Smith's case, it's kind of the opposite for Smith. I would say. Try to keep this fight at um, long range, you know. Do you do your do your work with um, straight shots, you know. Throw a hard thumping jab, you know. Work on on throwing a powerful jab at Canelo, you know. Even when when there's there's not much activity going on, you gotta whack him with that jab, you know. Hit him with the with a hard jab and make him think before he comes in. And if when Canelo does sort of edge in come close make him pay straight away with that right hand you know what i mean that's that's the sort of tactics i would suggest try and keep it if you're smith try and keep it at long range he's got about five or so inches um over canelo in height so you know by rights don't let him touch you don't let him get into um into close range because that's what canelo needs he needs to be in close and i'd say if i'm smith tie him up at times and you know don't let try your best not to let um uh canelo work you know try and stop him from working do your work on the outside if he comes inside try and make him pay and if you need to time up just time up you know and use work on a few little inside shots lovely uppercuts that he's got on the left hook that he's got work on those uh, but for the most part i would say try and keep this fight um long um and at the same time i would say um in smith's case um he the you know he he should sort of try to not be reckless but i'd say he's he's gotta gotta do something to sort of um 
boxing where I sort of rattle Canelo and, um, you know, to sort of hurt Canelo, you know, because I think the best way, the best chance Smith has got really is by stopping Canelo because we know, uh, judging wise, it's so hard to win. <laughs> I can't remember the, the last person who won a points decision over Canelo was Floyd Mayweather Jr. And, you know, that's years and years ago when he was about 22 or something probably about nine years, 10 years ago or something crazy. And he, with Canelo, it's so hard to win a points decision. So I think for Smith, he's got to try and hurt Canelo and, do, and box in a way where he's making it very clear to all the judges and all the observers that, right, I'm, I'm winning this fight. You know, he's got to sort of keep it long and just crisp punches, straight punches. You know, Canelo comes in, meet him with something, meet him with a little uppercut or meet him with a little, um, with a straight right hand over the top, you know, over the top of his jab. Make sure you're using that stick, using that jab all the time. Try and keep that jab in his face all the time. You know, try not to let him get close. Use your six foot three inches, you know, use his legs as well. I'd say um, Smith should use his legs, use every bit of the ring he can use. And, um, you know, at the meantime, while he's using his legs, you know, poke the jab in his face all the time and not a soft jab, not a feeling out touching jab, you know, bang, sort of a hard jab and try and keep that hard jab in his face all the time. And that's what I'd sort of say to, um, you know, tactically what you should do, just keep it long, use the ring, use your legs and, um, you know, use your high reach advantage, use every advantage you have, lean on him, do anything you can um, you know, to try and to make it clear that you're winning the fight. So, um, yeah, that's just my kind of thoughts on it in terms of predictions, in terms of who I think is going to win. Um, I'm going to have to go with um, Canelo Alvarez. I know it's an obvious pick. I know it's, you know, it's probably what everyone else is going to pick. But um, again, he's he's a guy that is so, you know, he's, he's proven at, at elite level, of these two guys, he's boxed at a much higher level. He's boxed a much better level of, of opposition. And, um, you know, he's proven to be pretty much, you know, pound for pound, one of the very best in boxing today. Whereas with Callum Smith, you know, his last fight was quite close with John Ryder. John Ryder's not really a world beater of sorts. But again, that, that, that style, styles make fights. But I think... You look at the body of work and, you know, Canelo's head and shoulders above. And I think Canelo is is just that level above um, Callum Smith in terms of class, in terms of skills and the punch selection and, and, and the punch accuracy. You know, he's just levels above, uh, above um, Callum Smith. And I think that extra skill and class and pedigree and experience is just going to pay off for me for Canelo. And I, I think um, this this could go to points. I think this is probably going to go to points. Wide unanimous decision for Canelo. Um, Smith does have a chance, but I'm thinking wide points decision to Canelo. Um, either that or it could be a uh, late round stoppage for um, Canelo once again. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And until next time, it's MKO Pugilism over and out. I'll catch you on the next.